Hey everybody, how's it going today? Today I'm going to show you how to set your gains using gain overlap. There's a lot of information out there on the internet about this. Lots of people have already covered this. Um, this is just going to be my version on how I do it. And I'll try to explain it the best way I know how. I'll be setting all my gains using the Lumi LM2001 oscilloscope slash multimeter. For my head unit, I like to set all my gains using 0 dB test tones at the head unit itself. Everybody varies different. Music is recorded at different levels all the variables that go into this there's tons of material on this on the internet so you need to read it and do your homework on it because it honestly it's just so much on this for me to explain anyway basically for me i just set all my gains at zero db on my head unit to be safe everything's at zero db on my head unit and then working my way back I set, for right now, everything on my 4 channel amp is set at 0 dB, and then on my base amp, I'm set at negative 5 dB for now. I might drop it down to negative 7.5, um, just to get a little more out of it, see what it's got, but for right now, that's where I'm running. So once you've found the max clean signal of your head unit, you can come back here to your amplifiers and start checking your signal through your RCAs. Because you don't want no dirty signal here. So the first thing you're going to want to do is start your engine to get everything up to operating voltage. Get you a set of test tones. I have a selection of 40 hertz, 1000 hertz, and 3500 hertz, ranging from 0 dB all the way up to negative, five, uh, negative 10 dB. So what I'm going to do here is, I've already messed with this head unit a bunch, so I pretty much already know that it can go to 50 without clipping. So I already have the volume turned up all the way to 50. So I'm going to play a 40 hertz 0 dB test tone. I'm going to hit play. I'm hooked. To my RCA. Hooked to my leads. Clip to my oscilloscope. So I'm going to power on my unit, switch it to AC, display, whoops, start my track, this is 40 hertz, 0 dB, I'm going to hit select until I get the right waveform. And there she is. Let me hit the light. It's kind of hard to see. But I know on these RCAs I'm good to go at 40 hertz. And you would want to test each of your RCAs individually to make sure you don't have clipping. And I'll be testing 1000 hertz and 3500 hertz, 0 dB on my 4 channel amp. 3500 because I have component tweeters up in the front doors. NVXV series components to be exact. Okay, 
I switched over to the four channel amp. Now I'm running a thousand hertz. Zero dB. Test tone. And as you can see, perfectly clean. Good to go. And once again, you're going to want to test every lead individually to make sure each lead is not clipping. All right, guys, after you got all your clean signal determined, plug your RCAs back in. Make sure you unhook all your speakers because you don't want no test tones going through your speakers. Could cause damage. All right, guys. Got my 1,000 hertz, 0 dB playing. Test leads hooked up. Everything's all hooked back up. And I'm going to creep my gain up until I get to clipping. Okay, see how I maxed it out? So I want to hit select again to bring it up to the next wave. Just keep going. Oh, there we go, that's clipping. See how it's clipping? So I bring it back. There you go. About 19 point, about 19 volts. Yeah, I'm clipping right there. Oh, my track died. So what you'd want to do is just bring it back a hair until it's not clipping. Just dial it in to where you want it. All right, guys. So this is going to be the 40 hertz, negative 5 dB on the SCAR RP. 1500 point D. Here we go. Oh, well. I'm clipping right there big time. You see how big that clip is? That's negative on that. So bring her way back. And you just want to play around with it till you get it right about where it's nice and smooth. I might want to come back just a hair with that, but you get the idea, and that's how it's done. Thanks for watching.